We are here in beautiful Nu'uwanu. I am here with Barry Usagawa with the Board of Water Supply. Now, Barry, we're here to talk about water conservation today, but before we do that, mm -hmm. can you tell us about this place? We're at Reservoir 4. Right, we're in Nu'uwanu Reservoir 4 in the back of Nu'uwanu Valley. It's the largest of four reservoirs, of course, with a number. This is primarily a flood control dam. Uh, it's, it's under uh, management of the Board of Water Supply from the state and uh, it's capturing storm water and doing its job. Okay, let's talk about water conservation. Why is that so important? Water conservation's goal is to reduce potable water demand. And potable is drinking water, quality water. There's three benefits. One is to the resource. If we conserve water, we preserve the resource. It's sustainability for the future and it allows us to have water for for generations to come the second benefit is to our customers because if you conserve water you pay a lower water bill its uh, rates are tied to how much water you use and you use less you pay less and then the third benefit is to the border water supply uh, for our, for our system uh, capacities it can defer the next source into the future okay what are the board of water supplies water conservation programs well, we have actually five facets to the programs. One is the, the education, which is our uh, customer education, which is the most uh, popular and the most formative. Uh, leak detection is another, rain barrel. We have a large water user program, as well as the, diversifying our water supplies, recycled water and stormwater capture. Okay, so we're focusing on the rain barrel catchment program today. Right. And I see that you have a barrel with you. I Tell do. us about this. Well, this is a 55-gallon water uh, uh, catchment barrel. We get these barrels from Coca-Cola, actually. It's a reused syrup um, barrel. Uh, you can connect this to your rooftop gutter, uh, and when it, every time it rains, it fills up. And there's a spigot at the bottom that you can fill your watering can and, and irrigate your potted plants with it instead of using potable water from the tap. Okay, so, so the benefits seem obvious, then you're not using as much water if you can get it naturally. That's correct, and if you use this barrel, then you'll pay less. Okay, great. How can people learn more about rain barrels? Well, it's, we have our website at borderwatersupply.com. We have a, a quarterly workshop where uh, folks that sign in pay a nominal fee of $35, can come to the workshop at our beautiful uh, Halawa Xeriscape Garden, and uh, make one of these barrels and take one of these home. Okay, great. And I've actually seen a lot of people use decorative barrels. Um, and it's actually beautiful and it's part of your landscape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, this of, of course is very functional. People paint these to match, but there are barrels that you can get uh, on the internet that are, are more decorative. They're not available locally and hopefully we can uh, expand our conservation program so that the stores here will carry it. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for, for all of what you do with the Board of Water Supply. Um, we're almost out of time, but I know off camera we were talking about climate change and kind of the long-lasting impacts of that. Can you tell me again about that? Because I think it's important for our viewers to hear that. And thank you for asking. Uh, so a, a large part of climate change is more drought and more floods in the future. And so storing water here in the dam, as well as in these barrels, uh, can can store storm water and use it beneficially. So in a in a in a barrel, you can use it for to irrigate your potted plants in your yard. In a dam like this, we can reuse this water and recharge the aquifer. We have a project to inject it into the ground and recharge some of our large stations that are downgrading. So it's all about reusing storm water, conserving it and preparing and adapting to climate change. All right, Barry, thank you so much. Again, this is such an important topic, so we appreciate everything that the Board of Water Supply is doing. Yeah, thank you for thank you. doing this. Okay, seriously, I'm heading to that workshop because for just 35 bucks, they said, to be able to put one of those things together, that's a great deal. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I actually know a lot of people that get those decorative pots yeah. and that's what they do. Yeah. They have the rain yeah. chain. Comes down right there. And the they gutter. use that water that mm -hmm. they catch. It makes it, a difference. Yeah, and they use it to water the other plants in their yards. And again, we are in the middle of the Pacific in an ocean surrounded by salt water, so we need mm -hmm. to conserve our water. It makes a huge difference. Oh, I'm going to go to that workshop. I'm excited about that. <laughs>